Okay. Moving right along. We got our little way away. Oh! Don't let my people go. We got the Louie Louie Spice Blend. Obviously, we're going to be getting some uh, pineapple vibes going on with this one. Again, loving the... Um, what is... Oh, it's a little honey. Little, little honey guy holding some beer right there. I'm loving the vibes on this label again. Um, great labels. Great artwork on the labels. Gotta absolutely love it. From TNT Spices. Um, they're doing good things out there from Pennsylvania. Let's see here. All right. Ingredients wise, you got pineapple, brown sugar, uh, honey, beer, paprika, MSG, salt, tahine, hickory smoke, coriander, Szechuan peppercorns, chipotle, and ghost pepper. This is honey boy. I'm sure this would be perfect for you, buddy. See what we got going on as far as the smell profile goes. Ooh. That uh, I don't know for all, those of you that haven't had Szechuan peppercorns, they almost give you a buzz, uh, kind of like a mouth feel going on. Um, like they almost make your taste buds vibrate. Um, that's definitely what I'm getting from the smell. Ooh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Um, wow. Uh, very, very, like you'd think it would be overly sweet with what I just listed as the ingredient list. The savoriness of the smell is very, very unique. Um, almost like a, almost like a, like a lemon pepper, kind of like a vibe to it, uh, but, but with like a lot further depth of flavor. Ooh, this is really intriguing. Whoa, not what I was expecting. Okay. Right away the hickory smoke comes through. Right in your face. Wow. Right away, it's the hickory smoke. It's the pineapple. Wow, wow, wow. The brown sugar and the honey come through a little bit, but not too overpowering. What you really get is the ghost pepper, the chipotle, and the peppercorns, along with that hickory smoke. That's very, very unique. I don't know if I've had a spice one like that before. My goodness. One of my favorite recipes for a pork tenderloin, uh, me and my dad came up with a few years ago. Take a pork tenderloin, butterfly it out, fill it with a couple different things, including mustard and whatever your preferred spice blend is. And then you hollow out a pineapple and you stuff it in the pineapple and you smoke it on the grill. This blend right here would be an absolutely perfection, like perfect, perfect, perfect addition to that. Mm. the depth of flavor is absolutely astounding and the burn is actually quite nice the burn is there it's maybe like a one or a two because of the ghost pepper what's up Jim it's definitely it's definitely got a flavor going on as far as the heat's concerned it hits you in the back of the throat but not too far in the back of the throat where it's like you know <laughs> it's it it's just a nice little accentuated heat that really brings out that smokiness as well as the sweetness from the pineapple. Really, really well done. That's uh, that's gonna be a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, again, not what I was expecting as far as the smell profile goes and what I got from it, but Louis Louis, again, TNT Spices out of Pennsylvania, hit them up. They've got great sauces great spice blends really really well done on this one this is this is definitely my favorite so far really really nice job wow 
I was not expecting that that flavor to come out of what what the smell was like. Especially when you're using like a smokiness, when you're like using liquid smoke or what have you. I don't know how they they achieve that, but when you use when you're blending smoke into a flavor profile, it's very hard to get right to where it's not overpowering. Now, granted, that was definitely the the lead character in that story, as far as the flavor is concerned. But it wasn't it wasn't too overpowering to where you couldn't you couldn't tell what other flavors were going on, which again is very hard to do. I feel like um, throughout the cooking industry is when you start adding smoke, you really have to know what you're doing because it definitely gets difficult. Um, as far as being able to have a well-roundedness to 